If you want amazing out of your phone, make sure you have amazing in your phone. Don't sell for anything less than a Snapdragon processor. Megan McCarthy. Yeah. This is perfect. You know, oh. you you have such a huge following on social media. I'd love to get some tips from you. Yeah, I have a few minutes, and I really did almost knock you over there. So. Well, fantastic. <laughs> then, then come let's along. Let's go. Got. Yeah, let's go. Let's try some things. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what what we can do. Yeah. 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 Excellent. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Oh. How's it happening? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, Happy birthday, Mr. President. Wow, Marilyn, you're looking good. You haven't aged one bit. Hello, everybody. I'm the queen. I'm the real queen. How rude. I'm Queen Bay. <laughs> I'm real, real royalty. Oh, that's dreadful. <laughs> to get something to go viral, you well, know? Well, good, we're good at the lip-syncing now. Yeah, yeah, no, you were great at lip-syncing. That, that was probably your best skill. Uh, but, you know, just try to do something a little different, like you do with technology. Well, true, that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to get a selfie before we well, go? Well, of course, we have to close okay. with the selfie. Perfect. Wow. Millennials. Stay tuned, Tech World is coming right up. So Walter will take good care of this.
Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. I was born in Oldham. I've lived here all my life. Oldham is a really nice little town near the sea in the northern part of England. We get 20 hours of dark in the winter and 20 hours of light in the summer. During the winter, people spend a lot of time inside. Uh, I'm on my computer listening to folk music. This year I thought I want to learn the banjo and play with my friends at Midsummer. Midsummer is the biggest celebration. It's the longest day of the year. We go camping, we go swimming in the freezing cold lakes and play music around the campfire. I thought picking up the banjo would be easy. It turns out it's actually really difficult. So I spend a lot of time on my Yoga 3 Pro, um, using tabs, looking up tutorials and filming my progress. My goal from the beginning was to play with friends, share the music and share the moment. I haven't quite mastered the banjo, but I think it went pretty well. My name is Yuka, and my Lenovo is helping me learn the banjo. What you watching up there? A video of a fan blowing. Can you share it? Tent. I got it. I can feel it. <laughs> Innovation boosts performance. Lenovo's heritage of innovation is at the core of our data center systems. Our servers have been awarded over 100 number one performance benchmarks, with 21 of them going to the X6 platform alone. Our systems enable critical applications like finance, data analysis, and online transaction processing with performance you expect. Performance is at the core of all we do. Let's innovate together. Hey, Phil, what's up? Hey. Sweet. Yeah, it's the new Lenovo Fab. Look at the resolution on this thing. Play a music video, speakers are great, full keyboard for texting. Oh, uh, Phil, I don't know if it goes with the phones. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's not just a phone. Just doing a count. That's all I know where it goes. Look at the size of this screen, Phil. Oh, Phil, tablet side? Well, what is it? Well, um, it's not just a tablet. It's not just a phone. So it's somewhere in the middle. Great job, Phil. Just uh, one. But it was your idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's here. Yeah, you, you came up with the whole, cool.
think. It's a mindset. It's what makes you explore. Solve. Imagine. And explore again. It's committing to the journey, not the destination. About asking what's next. And why not? Knowing you might need to turn around before you can forge ahead. It's saying yes to no limits, no barriers, and no boundaries. It's believing beauty can be a beast, that style can be taken to extremes, and that there should always be a little wonder to your world. Powered by Intel Core Processors. Hope you guys finished your papers. Be right back. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes. Actually, we made it easier than that. With the ReachIt app, you can have access to all your files from any device. Mr. Scott, check your inbox. Mun on mane ulof heikkailen paitsu sammelas. Min sammelas tille parikaan pohtuu kun tuhoa jaki. Ja min ei luu kuhto feittele sen maaselki kusti peltä. Tällä oli etappi, mikä on minusta meiniä. Tällä oli aina tihkyä, niin tukalkaa kehtävät puhuttu, niin tukalkaa tuikkaa minua. Joo, no se nyt tähän päivä ei tiedä, mitä meiniä. Outra kun muille kaffeille tuolta, ja minä olen nyt tihkyä, niin sinua aina on puhuttu. Oh, minä olen kuitenkin minä jorukalli hohtaa Jorra, kun minä hoin, niin nuorttais minä nämä kränjää sieltä. Kuoro on kämppää, siis ei ole kuitenkin sen kuin tarkkaan. Vaatso pari kuule ankilis pari kuule korui. Le mun mielen peha olas vahva kee vai horrua teknologia ja vai korua seesta. Ja saapaa mus le anna kuule vel mänkka ja kiitahka saa mille mun vaimuilla kaamus. Kohtsu yhti kysyt. The way a ThinkPad looks feels and how it's made to last it's a reflection of our principles a thinkpad is a thousand decisions the tactile feedback of a comfortable keyboard the sound of the cooling system the way our systems can be more productive. We design unique testing systems and conduct over 90 tests to better simulate the real world. It's a creative process aligned with our customers. We're busy creating the next generation of ThinkPads. Tools that become invisible between you and your work. Making new decisions. Some you'll notice immediately. Others only when you use something else. A leader never stops pushing the boundaries, testing the limits, even if it means re-engineering convention. Yesterday, we defined a new kind of notebook. Today, we're challenging everything we ever knew, creating a product that's unimaginably thin and light. A new hinge, engineered from over 800 pieces of aluminum and steel, 
Hand assembled. A feat in engineering and software. Something that will empower people in so many ways. New ways. Old ways. Surprising ways. Smart ways. With intelligent software that understands you. The Yoga 3 Pro. A new generation of computer that adapts to you. What makes a ThinkPad feel different? The pitch and travel of the trackpad and keys. Each key is calibrated with feedback in a particular way. The surface of the keyboard is shaped to fit the curve of your fingers. So when you use a ThinkPad, it feels comfortable and natural. What makes a ThinkPad durable? Devices engineered to resist spills and to pass over 90 endurance tests. Each one anticipates the broad range of conditions a ThinkPad will face during its life. What makes ThinkPads dependable? The way they deal with heat. High temperatures weaken processors. ThinkPad fans have multi-angled blades to quickly remove hot air. The blades are arrayed asymmetrically, so they spin in a more stable manner. They remove static electricity to repel dust and keep vents clear. A ThinkPad has signature elements, yet is constantly evolving with the way work is changing. With new designs, modes, and features. This is ThinkPad. Year after year, we pushed the limits, up the ante, changed the game. This year, we didn't just raise the bar, we toppled it. After its headline-making debut, Lenovo Tech World is back for more, and it's bigger, better, and bolder than ever. We never stand still, neither does our innovation. See us launch the first smartphone with Project Tango, created by Lenovo. You heard about it at the Consumer Electronics Show. You saw what it could do at Mobile World Congress. And now, it's finally here. Watch Moto transform mobile in a snap. And that's just scratching the surface. Tune in to the Tech World 2016 live stream, June 9th. And witness a world of innovation. Okay, Google, how do planes fly?
Check this out. Bones are great for calling people. But hey, you do so much more than just calling. You watch movies, play games, video chat. You use your phone more like a tablet. What you really need is the new Lenovo fan. You want a giant screen, superb sound and the battery power of a tablet. You also want a great camera and a phone that looks stunning. Then why choose between a phone and a tablet when you can have both in one magical device?
innovation strengthens security. Lenovo's heritage of innovation is at the core of our data center systems. The cost of a data breach averages $3.8 million. How are we guarding you against that? With servers, storage, and networking that are designed with security features, like System X Trusted Platform Assurance that helps prevent unauthorized firmware from being loaded on your systems. And with our own manufacturing facilities and a trusted supply chain that we control. Security is essential to all we do. Let's innovate together. to everyone streaming across the world and welcome to Lenovo Tech World 2016. My name is Caitlin Nadal and I'm going to be taking you through Innovation Alley where you get to see a snapshot of some of the up and coming groundbreaking technologies and maybe an awesome place to start. Virtual reality, augmented reality, obviously a big buzzword 2016 and beyond. Michael, why don't you tell me what's going on here? Well, today we're looking at how Lenovo can help our customers better experience reality. Everyone is in reality. Virtual reality takes you there, but augmented reality actually does a better job of showing you your own reality. So here today we're going to show you object recognition coupled together with a Meta 2 head mounted display. So he's looking at this globe, but what he sees is actually up here. It's quite different. A lot more information. He can see the satellites traversing, etc., etc. Now he's going to wave his hand and he gets even more information because we can dynamically respond and continue to give you more information. Just to give you a different perspective, let's use this toy box. And let's talk about this heads-up display here too because this is the Meta 2. It was actually unveiled a few months ago at TEDx. And the interesting part about it is, to your point, augmented reality versus virtual reality. So you can actually see what is happening in front of you with almost like an overlay. And you're gonna take us through that next demo. You can see that, Katie, you are right here in the picture along with this absolutely virtual object that's not really here. So he's looking at this box and the box triggers the computer to say, hey, there's something I'm interested in here. When he waves his hand, a new response happens and he gets a completely different object. If he does it again, he sees it over and over, whatever we want to do. We, uh, we actually allow you to do some e-shopping. So he's looking through a magazine at home and he sees this ad and the ad is already set up with information. So he can go in and touch the shoe He's going to buy one here. He's going to reach out to the cart on the right-hand side. Put, put the shoe into the shopping cart. OK. And now we're going to go back to the toy because the computer sees the toy. So here you have common objects that might be in your work or your home or play. And with future technology, Lenovo customers will be able to experience a better reality. 
I think, you know, the underlying message here too is how many different variations this is going to be used in, from training to education exactly. to even in advertising. Augmented reality, is this going to be a big thing that we're going to be hearing about in addition to virtual reality this year and beyond? Yeah, you're starting to see uh, virtual reality is becoming prime. A lot of content providers are moving to support it. Augmented reality is very close behind. More of the uh, content will be productivity applications and productivity content. We're talking about the heads-up display again. This is the Meta 2, and I want to dive into the specs here because obviously for a consumer, you might be looking at this saying, eh, it's a little large. Where do we go in terms of this prototype and moving forward with consumers or B2B? Absolutely. Lenovo recognizes that we need to focus on the customer experience, and this is just a little bit too big, a little bit too heavy for the average customer. So we're working to, with Meta to come up with a future generation of such products that are a lot more comfortable, a lot lighter, and have an all-day battery life. Mobility is going to be key for us in the future. I want you to park back onto the game too, because although this is a much different spectrum, I've seen a lot of these kinds of technologies used in the military space in terms of training. But to flip gears and to obviously use it in different kinds of training, or to actually have kids or people like you and I using it with toys, I think is so incredibly unique. So one of the key things that you're going to see augmented reality go for really quickly is industrial maintenance, people that are out in the field trying to make a, a large device work. And instead of having to go through all the manuals, they'll just look at the situation and they'll get tutorials, videos, steps, things like you're seeing here. Awesome stuff. Well, we are going to send it back to you guys. More on AR and VR and more from Innovation Alley here at Lenovo Tech World 2016. Back to you guys. If you want amazing out of your phone, make sure you have amazing in your phone. Don't sell for anything less than a Snapdragon processor. So Walter will take good care of this.
We have a day full of groundbreaking technologies here from Lenovo Tech World and keeping things rolling at Innovation Alley. And I'm going to be talking to Rich because this is actually really cool. And may I say, how many of you actually had that, that whole conundrum with what color is the dress? We've all been there. Our eyes each have different color pre preferences and with Spectrum, your system preferences will actually be customized just to you. Rich, what the heck does that mean? Run me through it. Everyone sees the world differently, and many people have color vision deficiencies and don't even know it, especially males. So once we saw the dress phenomenon, we reached out to some of the leading color vision experts at Duke University and started working with them on how we could customize that and help people to see the things online as you see them. So what we've done is in the individual Lenovo settings, we, we have a profile here where you can go in and modify and take a short test that tests your ability to see reds, greens, and blues. And I'm typically not a fan of eye tests. Those are always very awkward. Better number one or two. Is this gonna be a little less painless? This is a little less painless. We tried to make it more like a game. Where's the gecko? So on this one, I'll kind of intentionally fail the, the red color and pick out the greens and blues. And you'll be able to see how we can dynamically change the screen for anyone. How many of these tests do you go through to actually customize your? One, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. So now if you see this picture, it says we've adjusted your display's red light output based on the color vision. So now if I disable it, you can see how the reds aren't as pushed out. We have an OLED screen here and we push out the color gamut to help people better see the difference in colors. So for anybody that's working in photography, or if you're dealing with your CMYKs or RGBs, what are you going to see? Is it going to mess up the export for anyone that you're trying to share it with? No, and we also have settings in here that are specific to Photo Pro for Adobe, Movie Pro for movie viewing, or even blue light cutting for late at night when you're reading your computer and don't want to uh, have problems going to sleep afterwards. Do you think this technology was one of those overdue features in terms of our settings that finally, for people that have you know, those issues with their coloring, that it makes a lot of sense? The, setting, the settings are very intimidating on a normal PC. You go in and you don't know which dial to adjust. This gives you a very intuitive uh, interface that you can easily customize for your personal vision. And it's already being integrated right now. Integrated into the Lenovo settings themselves. Spectrum. Thanks so much, guys. Throwing it back to you. Thank you, Rich. You bet. Thank you. Don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, ooh. shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. I was born in Oldham. I've lived here all my life. Oldham is a really nice little town near the sea in the northern part of Finland. We get 20 hours of dark in the winter and 20 hours of light in the summer. During the winter, people spend a lot of time inside. Uh, I'm on the computer listening to folk music. This year I thought, I want to learn the banjo and play with my friends at Midsummer. Midsummer is the biggest celebration. It's the longest day of the year. We go camping, we go swimming in the freezing cold lakes and play music around the campfire. I thought picking up the banjo would be easy. Turns out it's actually really difficult. So I spend a lot of time on my Yoga 3 Pro, um, using tabs, looking up tutorials and filming my progress. My goal from the beginning was to play with friends, share the music and share the moment. I haven't quite mastered the banjo, but I think it went pretty well. My name is Yuka, and my Lenovo is helping me learn the banjo.
What you watching up there? A video of a fan blowing. Can you share it? Tent. Got it. I can feel it. <laughs> Innovation boosts performance. Lenovo's heritage of innovation is at the core of our data center systems. Our servers have been awarded over 100 number one performance benchmarks, with 21 of them going to the X6 platform alone. Our systems enable critical applications like finance, data analysis, and online transaction processing with performance you expect. Performance is at the core of all we do. Let's innovate together. How about this? Some augmented reality solutions for industrial production. This is pretty cool and it might look a little familiar. Yeah, kind of a little Google Glass-esque. We're gonna chat about this, Lenovo's new glass C100. Give me the elevator pitch here as to what's going on. Yeah, actually the AR, uh, you know, the new glass C100 already uh, applied in several, uh, you know, the uh, industry usage. Uh, the first day is the doctors. A doctor use that uh, can help them record the operations and also transfer the video uh, to the students and to the other expert teacher, uh, doctors to help them to find some problems, how to uh, make a new treatment solutions. So this is the usage in the uh, medicine. And also the other usage is uh, uh, in the industry. Now we show in the videos you can see here uh, is how to help engineers find the problems uh, and how to understand the machine details uh, by the AR uh, glass. So you can show, uh, see the uh, engineers can understand the structures and the uh, 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 components, uh, the details uh, by the AR technology. Great for a number of different industries, but this is obviously at the moment just a business to business, a B2B purely solution, nothing that involves the consumer at this point. Uh, yes, uh, at this moment, I think uh, uh, everyone knows AR uh, is mainly focused on the commercial usage. It helps uh, uh, the uh, uh, produ uh, product uh, uh, eff efficiency. So. I've been reading a lot of studies about the efficiency, just like you had said, in terms of visually understanding and having that augmented overlay, that the, the rate of actually being able to better process and better understand while training is like through the roof. Obviously, these are very early studies, but I think that speaks volumes into where this could go for training across the board. Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, the uh, biggest usage model is uh, uh, the back-end team have the uh, experts, the knowledge you can share to the front-end team. So uh, several usage models, uh, scenarios happened in different industry. Uh, the National Guard also uh, have the situations like this. So uh, people on the back-end back -end team can support, fully support the front-end front teams, uh, even on the uh, defense. Uh, uh, areas have such a usage situation. How many places is this being used right now? Uh, already over, uh, over uh, around 50 uh, accounts use our glass right now. Great stuff. All right, more from Innovation Alley here at Lenovo Tech World. Back to you guys. Hey, Phil, what's up? Hey. Sweet. Yeah, it's the new Lenovo Fab. Look at the resolution on this thing. Play a music video, speakers are great, full keyboard for texting. Oh, uh, Phil, I don't know if it goes with the phones. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's not just a phone. Just doing a count, that's all I know where it goes. Look at the size of this screen, Phil. Oh, Phil, tablet side? Well, what is it? Um, it's not just a tablet, it's not just a phone, so it's somewhere in the middle. Great job, Phil. Just that.
But it was your idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, it's, it's here. Yeah, you, you came up with the whole... Cool. Think. It's a mindset. It's what makes you explore. Solve. Imagine. And explore again. It's committing to the journey, not the destination. About asking what's next. And why not? Knowing you might need to turn around before you can forge ahead. It's saying yes to no limits, no barriers, and no boundaries. It's believing beauty can be a beast, that style can be taken to extremes, and that there should always be a little wonder to your world. Powered by Intel Core processors. Further integrating fashion, technology, and function. Oh, baby. This is going to be a standout of the day. This is a smart shoe. Elwin's going to tell me all about it, but one of my favorite features is that can I control your movements in gaming while also giving your calorie an outtake. And by the way, you want a little tricked out at night here? LED smart strip right on the bottom, so it's going to light you up at night. Elwin, give me the deets. Yes. Uh, I, I, I can introduce the smart shoes for you. In fact, this is our uh, first smart life uh, product. Uh, you can see this, this product, in fact, we based on Intel Curie platform. We integrated uh, G sensor, LS sensor, pressure sensor with, with this sensor. In fact, we can, we can check in their fitness state and, uh, and we also can, can control their, their motion. You, we, with the smart shoe, you can control the gaming, and uh, and also you uh, the smart shoes uh, support the smart smart lighting. Yeah. Elwin's the first person to just take the mic. I really respect that. Yeah. Well done. He just grabbed it and went for it. One thing I love here, you can actually 3D scan the individual's foot. So obviously you get the appropriate amount of cushioning and it's going to perfectly fit that individual. And we'll come back to you later in the day. Here from Innovation Alley, stay tuned with us before the show is almost kicking off right here from Lenovo Tech World 2016. No, they're walking. good. They can look healthy. Yeah. This is perfect. You know, oh. you you have such a huge following on social media. I'd yeah. love to get some tips from you. Yeah, I have a few minutes, and I really did almost knock you over there. So. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> then then come along. Let's go. Got. Yeah, let's go. In. Let's try some things. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm excited to see what, what we can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. How's it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, Happy birthday, Mr. President. Wow, Marilyn, you're looking good. You haven't aged one bit. Hello, everybody. I'm the queen. I'm the real queen. How rude. I'm Queen Bay. <laughs> I'm real, real royalty. Oh, that's dreadful. <laughs> to get something to go viral, you we're know? Good, we're good at the lip syncing now. Yeah, yeah, no, you were great at lip syncing. That, that was probably your best skill. Uh, but, you know, just try to do something a little different, like you do with technology. Well, true, that's what we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to get a selfie before we well, go? Well, of course, we have to close okay. with the selfie. Perfect. Wow. 
Wow. Millennials. Stay tuned. Tech World is coming right up. Ready for showtime? Thank you guys for your patience. Joining me, last interview before we kick things off, Josh Walden, SVP of New Technologies at Intel. Obviously, Intel, no stranger to emerging technologies on the forefront of groundbreaking tech. What are you most excited about? Actually, I'm excited if you take a look at the trends. Everything is connected from wearables all the way up through the cloud. We're sensifying compute, bringing eyesight and all senses to compute, as well as the last is it really, technology is becoming an extension of you. So one of the things that really excites me if I look at the, ex, you know, really sensifying compute, bringing eyesight to things like robotics, drones, virtual reality, augmented reality, I just think this is just a really exciting future trend that we're seeing. And obviously, I mean, we just saw a snapshot of some of that from smart shoes to augmented reality in advertising to a smart mirror just a few moments ago. What innovations are you specifically, though, looking forward to coming out soon? Well, it's funny, you actually mentioned some of them, but if I take a step back, if you look at the Intel Curie technology, I don't know how many people were able to observe or watch the X Games this past weekend of seeing real-time analytics of BMX bikes, of skateboarders, and being able to actually compare those. I think that's just exciting as me as a user of watching TV. The replay technology that you're seeing right now today in the NBA Finals of being able to actually take and capture a shot in a frame and actually view it in 360, I think as a content viewer, this is just really exciting technologies. And if I go back and look at Curie, it's actually powered America's greatest makers. Uh, the Lenovo Smart Shoe is utilizing Curie, so just the creativity of what people can invent and innovate around, I'm just really excited to see those new products coming to market. And I love that you use the X Games as an example. I can tell you from personally working behind the scenes at ESPN for cumulatively seven years, we were working off of beta tapes at that time. Now to see these real-time statistics in, in air, it's just absolutely incredible how far we've come. I agree 100%, and I just, again, as a user of watching the content, it just really is a much more immersive environment where I can actually see and say, okay, well, that person's in first, but look at the number of spins that they did and the height, and one of the things is seeing the G-forces, so for those BMX riders, I worry when they get to be my age of what their knees are gonna be like. Josh, good stuff. More from Intel, and coming up soon, the show begins. Welcome to Lenovo Tech World 2016. Thank you. So Walter will take good care of this.
Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. Shut up and dance with me. I was born in Oldham. I've lived here all my life. Oldham is a really nice little town near the sea in the northern part of England. We get 20 hours of dark in the winter and 20 hours of light in the summer. During the winter, people spend a lot of time inside. Uh, I'm on my computer listening to folk music. This year I thought I want to learn the banjo and play with my friends at Midsummer. Midsummer is the biggest celebration. It's the longest day of the year. We go camping, we go swimming in the freezing cold lakes and play music around the campfire. I thought picking up the banjo would be easy. It turns out it's actually really difficult. So I spend a lot of time on my Yoga 3 Pro, um, using tabs, looking up tutorials and filming my progress. My goal from the beginning was to play with friends, share the music and share the moment. I haven't quite mastered the banjo, but I think it went pretty well. My name is Yuka, and my Lenovo is helping me learn the banjo. San Francisco. Hello to all of, all of our guests from around the world, press, customers, partners, and fans from the Americas, Asia, and across the EMEA. Today happens to be the Dragon Boat Festival of China. Let me say something to my uh, Chinese guests. Yuan Dao Erlai, the Chinese media, fans, customers, 渠道合作伙伴以及中国企业家论坛的老朋友们，大家端午节快乐！欢迎来到旧金山。Doing this event in Silicon Valley created a lot of buzz for us, and I, I received a lot of advice about what to do. First, I was told to call it a pitch, not a speech. Second. I was told how I should dress. <laughs> and third, I was told that we'd better launch something pretty exciting. Well, we will get to that. And I promise you will be as excited as we are with what we will have to show you and feel that it is something which will change the industry and your life. But today, it's more than just about the products we are launching. It's about sharing our new vision for Lenovo, for technology, and for our future. Over the past two years, Lenovo has been transforming, adding major acquisitions in mobile and the infrastructure to expand for beyond our core PC business. Actually, 
these are the building blocks for our future. Definitely, in the past, we have been a device company. And the many customer scenarios are addressed simply by having a greater device, like a PC or a smartphone. This will always be our core business. But now, as we are heading towards our edge of the uh, Internet of Things, everything around us can have computing, storage, and the networking modules built inside. In this environment, Lenovo is focused on customer centricity because we must uh, respond to many more kinds of customer scenarios, not just uh, traditional PC and smartphone use cases. For sure, new devices will emerge. But the device itself will no longer be enough. Customers will need a device seamlessly connected to the cloud in order to deliver the right experience at home, at work, or on the go. For Lenovo, our advantage is integrating our traditional device strength with our new capabilities in mobile, in cloud, and infra infrastructure to meet the customer needs for balanced device plus cloud innovation. This is where Lenovo will attack and grow. Devices will become entry points for diverse, exciting new content and services. The backbone technology of the Device Plus Cloud Euro will be five key kinds of connectivity, as we discussed at our last tech world in China. First, connecting people to devices through natural interfaces, like using voice interaction, iris scanning, or writing with a pen on real paper to communicate with your device. Second, connecting devices to each other so that they can seamlessly work together on the same cloud service platform, controllable and manageable, to create a holistic experience, such as connecting household appliances together to intelligently manage the right home environment. Third, connecting devices to the network to ensure customers can always be seamlessly connected anywhere, anytime, with either lowest fee or highest speed at your choice. In fact, this is what Lenovo's MVNO business will achieve. Fourth, connecting your device to your personal data. So not only can you easily retrieve your data, but also the devices will know your preference to serve you better. And finally, connecting devices with apps and services to create a one-stop experience for all your needs. So this connectivity is the enab enabling technology which makes the scenario-based innovation possible. Of course, all of this connectivity creates huge new demand for our cloud infrastructure that is safe, reliable, easy to access, and also easy to deploy and easy to expand. Now, this is one of our key business as well, and we are able to deploy our deeply integrated devices and the cloud because of our data center innovation and the expertise. So today, we will show you how Lenovo will deliver on this vision through device innovation, device plus cloud model enabled by connectivity and the, la and the latest infrastructure technology. Now, my Silicon Valley friends also told me that the crowd here would not just uh, want to hear from the CEO and, they are, and that I should share the stage with my engineers. So with that advice in mind, please welcome Peter Hortensis.
Thanks, YY. Device innovation is our foundation, our DNA, our heritage, and it sets up our vision for our technology in the future. And while we have a long history of innovation, the fact is that engineering isn't what it used to be. We find inspiration everywhere. For example, looking at an owl wing to build a very silent fan, or by constantly testing, burning, soaking, and dropping, and just generally mangling our devices in the lab. Of course, our customers torture test too. Over the years, we've seen what they can do to our ThinkPads, which have been crushed by cars and burned in fires and thrown out of more than a few office windows. They've kept working. Now we're starting to see what customers do to our phones. Mainly, they drop them. They drop them a lot. And this gave us an idea. What about a screen that won't break? So, here's my phone. And it just keeps working, if I didn't touch the screen. Now, that works for me, but honestly, I think it could be a little more impressive. I'm not that impressed. How about we do it from a little bit higher, just in case you're a little bit taller than I am? Well, we're waiting for our demo of it being a little bit higher and taller. I can hear him coming. He's running up the ladder. And there he is. <laughs> Thanks, Ashton. <laughs> and of course, it's still working. In fact, you can throw it on the ground and it'll still work. Now, working with our customers gives us a lot of new ideas. They like laptops, they like tablets, but they don't like carrying so many devices. So they inspired us to create Yoga, a laptop that transforms into a tablet. Customer inspiration leads to reinvention of something that seems so simple, the hinge. Now, I'm a geek, and I think coming up with new hinges is fun, but you know what's more fun? coming up with a way to make the hinge disappear. This is one of my favorite new toys. And to help me show it is one of my favorite new friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my, great, my guest concept demo presenter and YouTube superstar, Megan McCarthy. Hi, Peter. Thank you for such a nice intro. I'm not used to seeing myself on such a big screen, but I kind of like it. <laughs> and thank you for letting me use your new technology. As you can tell, I am wearing a super cute dress today, but it doesn't have any pockets, so where am I supposed to put my phone? I can just wear it. <laughs> and I've gotten to play with this new tablet. I've been looking at pictures of adorable kitties, but if I need to, I can fold it up and take super serious business calls. Or I can just open it back up and look at pictures of kitties again. Well, I think that's enough about kitties, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, what Megan showed us is what happens when you combine the latest and flexible screen technology with Lenovo's capability and know-how. It's partly about screen tech, no doubt. But even more for us, it's all about the technology underneath the screen. What else has to bend when the screen bends? The battery, the motherboard. How do we make sure it holds your sh its shape when you fold it back? A flexible screen doesn't help without a lot of other flexible parts. And it doesn't help when you can't see when it's folded. Those are Lenovo's innovations. Now, this isn't a product yet, but they're a sign of things to come and you can check them out later in our demo area just over there. Thanks, Megan. Thank you, Peter. I think I'm just gonna hold on to these for now. Uh, my friends probably wanna use them. Uh, could you be just a little bit careful? <laughs> they cost a little bit more than your average phone or tablet right now. <laughs> now, the physical device is just part of the story. 
real innovation is also happening in how people interact with their devices. Last year, we talked a lot about natural user interfaces like voice and pen and how they're becoming more and more important. This fall, we'll announce a product that brings the vision of the most flexible of user interfaces that naturally connect to people and devices. Pen and paper interfaces that go beyond anything that you see today in digitization. Keyboards that don't necessarily act like traditional keyboards. In fact, there's a whole new species of device just from Lenovo. It's not something we're ready to launch here yet, we wanted to just give you a sneak peek. Stay tuned. Thank you, Peter. <clears throat> That's right, Peter. Of course, we have partners who help us uh, deliver the best device innovation. Some are startups we invest in here in Silicon Valley. You can visit them after the show in our innovation room. Others are well, a little bigger. Let me bring up one of our closest Silicon Valley friends to talk more about the device innovation, Brian Krizanich, CEO of Intel. Thank you, everybody. I'm really, really excited to share the stage here at Lenovo Tech World this morning. I, I think we have some exciting demos and discussions to have with you. Intel and Lenovo have a, really a long history of collaboration around both the PC and the data center. And today's theme of Lenovo Tech World is really the perfect theme for which to, to launch from, and that is really that innovation never stands still. In fact, I can't really remember a time where there has been more innovation in this industry and in these spaces than there is today. And today I'm gonna to show you just a couple of examples that I think really demonstrate where this innovation and where the technology is leading to. If you've been lucky enough to work with the newest generation of PCs, and I'm sure many of you have, uh, they've really improved over the last few years. Uh, they've become incredibly powerful. Uh, they're much more mobile, much lighter. Battery life is longer. All the physical things you need to really make them a much more useful device. But to me, the most interesting part of all of this is the experiences that we're creating around these systems and the experiences that we bring to you uh, in using them. And to me, there's no better way to show you what's possible than to pair the Lenovo Y900 with the Oculus Virtual Reality System. And I've, I've brought Art on stage here to help me uh, demonstrate this. So, hey, welcome Art and uh, let's get to gaming. All right, let's uh, show the audience how immersive and fun uh, VR can be. So I'll let you put the headsets on and stand, and if you'll just face the screen there. Um, right there. Got it. And uh, while you get that going there, uh, go ahead and hit the Y and B buttons there. Uh, let me explain the setup that we have here on stage. So we're gonna show you this amazing virtual reality experience, all driven by this Lenovo Idea Center Y900 uh, desktop, of course, with a powerful uh, Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, this system is VR ready, and we worked with our friends over at Oculus to give you a sneak peek at a game under development uh, that is using their innovative o Oculus Touch controllers coming out in the second half of this year. Uh, the game that we're going to show you is uh, The Unspoken by Insomniac Games, and it's a you know, when I was growing up, I dreamed about being a wizard. And with this game, you actually can be a, a modern day spellcaster uh, playing against other um, spellcasters across the internet. So Brian, can you just kind of describe what you're uh, seeing there? Sure, I'm, I'm kind of like in a torn down city scene. Uh, you can see the trains above. And it looks like there's somebody across the, uh, the way there that uh, maybe looks a little dangerous, but uh, other than that, the, the city looks like a kind of torn down city. It's very immersive. Though. Sort of really... like a back alley in, uh, in Chicago. Yeah, I didn't want to call out any one city, but yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so if it, just hold up your hands for a second and you can see how your hands have been sort of transformed into these uh, magical tools uh, for, for doing spell casting. And that, uh, that, that person over there is actually another spell caster somewhere on the internet that you can uh, uh, play against. Um, and why don't you just uh, show in your hand how you can do a, a, a fireball on your right hand. And you can kind of just toss it. And uh, I think we've got another player that's, uh, he's, he's ready to go on action. I see he's, oh, there he goes. So why don't you uh, play and let's see if you can actually, besides doing some uh, fireballs, maybe cast a spell if you find one of the blue orbs. Uh, let me find a blue orb. Boy, searching. Just go to town, man. Just have fun, show. You know, that other guy really likes fireballs, too, you know. Uh, I wonder who that is. I don't know, but whoever it is. Oh, look, everyone. Up on the screen, it's YY. Backstage playing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, hi, YY, can you hear us? Oh, yes. Are you having fun? Uh, a lot of fun. So, BK, we should uh, bring this to our uh, meeting room. Uh, it certainly would make price negotiations a little bit more fun. Yes, if I beat you, you, you should give us uh, the better discount. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, 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 what I'm amazed at, YY, is how immersive this is. I really feel like I can uh, feel your pain as my fireballs hit. It's definitely a very exciting world, BK. Uh, yeah, thank you. So you guys are doing great, and I'm sure you guys could play this for uh, hours, uh, but I know you have a keynote to get back to, so why don't you just prop open the, the headset there and kind of smile back at the camera. I, All right, let's I hear it for YY and BK. Thank you. Yeah. So that's just a glimpse at the uh, innovation and the experiences that are coming with Oculus powered by Lenovo and Intel. So I have to tell you that the, uh, when we were first rehearsing for this uh, back in Santa Clara, they, they said, oh, it'll be five or 10 minute rehearsal, just you know, get familiar with the game. And 30 or 40 minutes in, they were tapping me on the shoulder saying, okay, you're done now. Uh, what, I, what I really love about this, and I, I really did experience this, uh, where a game was really created for virtual reality and you had the fully immersive, and when you put the earbuds on, it's amazing, you just get immersed in the game. It's really pushing gaming to a level that was unimaginable a few years ago. And I really see how this is going to transform uh, those kinds of uh, uh, games and, and events. It really enables you to feel completely immersed. So at Intel, we took the next step and we said, hey, what else could we do? What else could we transform your experience and really change how you see the world? And for us, the obvious target was sports. And sports is something that is already really, really exciting. It's something we all love to watch and play and be a part of. And you know, it's part of our daily life. But we wanted to create a world where we transform this, where there's no bad seat, whether you're at home, whether you're on the road, or whether you're at the game itself. And we started with this vision to free the spectator to see the game from any angle, uh, anywhere on the playing field. Now I'm here to show you this morning that this vision is a reality with our latest Intel 360 replay technology. With this technology, every fan can become a director. Every fan can see the game from the perspective that they want to see. It's hard to believe, but I thought we would take a look this morning. So what you're seeing right now is an NBA highlight from game one of the NBA Western Conference semifinals this year, where Golden State was taking on Oklahoma City. It is a nice shot by Steph Curry here, but it's really a, a two-dimensional view of that shot. It's flat. It's how we see the world today. But using Intel's replay technology, we've revolutionized how fans can experience the highlights. Here we get to see the buzzer-beating shot by Steph from any angle, anywhere on the court, and close up and personal. You can literally rotate around Steph. Replay is giving you the ability to change highlights and it's no longer limited to the broadcast. What we're here to show you is that Art is demonstrating how you can control this technology at home. 
Uh, here's the NBA highlight from a marquee matchup between LeBron James and Kevin Durant. And using the Yoga 900, we can relive the top highlights from almost any perspective. This gives you the ability to really experience it the way you want to experience it, and in ways that's never been available before. What you're seeing is the power to redefine what it means to experience sports. And we'll put you in the director's space. And watching sports will never be the same. Uh, thank you very much, Art, for showing us that demo as well. <laughs> Technologies like replay, the virtual reality experience that we just showed, are merging at a time when the entire way we think about the world is changing. We're living in a moment where everything we see, everything we touch, everything we experience is becoming digitized. The amount of data that's being pushed to the, out of those experiences, out of something like replay, where it's terabytes a minute of data, is amazing. And so I can't leave today without mentioning what makes all of this possible. That's the cloud. Without the cloud, these experiences, that gaming across the internet, that replay coming into your home and being able to sit wherever you want or share the experience with your friends, it's based on the cloud. The cloud is the foundation for how we'll take enormous amounts of data and transform it to give you actionable insights, to give you those experiences that you really want to have. That's what the cloud is there for. And Lenovo has been a leader in delivering the best cloud experience with Intel. They just launched their latest platform using Intel's Xeon E7 V4 processor with large scalable memory capacity, high performance, and enhanced security for real-time analytics. In fact, for the last three years, Lenovo has been the number one seller of Xeon E systems, E7 systems, and recently, they achieved three world records based on the E7 family. So I'd really like to congratulate Lenovo for those world records. <laughs> the way we look at the world at Intel is when you take the power of the cloud and data center and link it to the world of connected devices, amazing things can happen. And those connected devices can be anything from phones and tablets, systems like replay. They could be pumps out in the far reaches of our industrial in, uh, infrastructure. They can be everything. This relationship between things at the edge and the cloud is what we call a virtuous cycle of growth. They feed on each other. They're connected. As one speeds up, the other one's required to speed up and vice versa. And as one provides more performance and more analytics, the other one wants to provide more data and more capability. And in the middle is accelerators like FPGAs and memory. And the user. The user is key to this. Devices at the edge all are sending that information to the cloud. The cloud is then providing that powerful analytics and the insights back. And you as the user are sitting there in the middle really benefiting from all this. I'm really proud of the work that Lenovo and Intel have done to help speed up the value and created this virtuous cycle of growth. I'd like to take just a second now to thank all of you for letting me spend a few minutes here on stage at Lenovo Tech World. And I'd like to invite YY back on stage to just give him a thank you. <laughs> Thank you, BK. Thank you, Iwa. I just wanted to say that the partnership between Intel and Lenovo has been fantastic, and the world we're creating and the world of the future is, is really going to be amazing, I think. Your speech is uh, fantastic. But actually, I have uh, a little something for you. Oh, wow, uh, okay. So, you know, Lenovo is not just putting Intel inside uh, in our PC at your fingertips, but, but also now uh, at your feet uh, with uh, uh, Lenovo new uh, smart shoes. Wow. Special delivery. So, Katie, how, how do you think about the, these shoes? 
So this is actually really cool. So not only can you track your movements in gaming, also, of course, can track your calories and your distance walked. And I love that on the bottom there, LED smart light up. So at night, you'd be all tricked out. That's you got to uh, test them out, BK. Yeah, that's, uh, I'll, I'll wear we, that when I'm out we, uh, we, dancing. We, we made a special <laughs> pair for you. So thank you very much, you can, you can have the real sense walking in the cloud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, BK. In fact, the smart shoes are a nice transition to our next innovation pillar, uh, device plus cloud. You may be surprised to hear the CEO of Lenovo say this, but personal computing is becoming obsolete. The new era is all about connected computing, enabled by the five elements of connectivity I mentioned earlier. Lenovo is aggressively attacking this opportunity. If a device is not deeply connected to the cloud or not with the intelligence, its value to its users will be very limited. In the past, Lenovo was primarily a device company, and we have always thrived in the device business, and we will continue to do so. But in this IoT era, we will build a more specific purpose the devices driven by different user scenarios at home, at work, or on the go, powered by intelligence on the cloud or within the devices. That can anticipate your needs, learn your preferences, sense the environment, and direct you to specific services provided by third parties. Our core beliefs for the future trend are specific purpose the devices, user scenario driven, natural language interaction, and the intelligence enabled. In order to achieve this, on the device side, there will be continuous progress and innovation in camera arrows, AR processor, and other hardware, and in natural language processing Machine, machine learning and other software. On the cloud side, backend cloud platforms enable the devices to not only listen but also understand, not only see but also recognize, not only sense but also analyze. Through this cloud platform, a device maintains connections to various third party services to enable an ecosystem around it. With all the above, a device itself will become the entrance to future services, and the users can directly interact with that instead of through individual apps. Device Plus Cloud is a vast opportunity, and we choose to focus on the following three scenarios. At home, new intelligent devices act as control points and give you a completely different entertainment experience. Smart TV and smart speakers are connected to each other and to Wi-Fi. They are connected to video on demand or music uh, cloud. So whatever you want to watch or listen to, just say the title. They are also connected uh, with the brand new e-commerce platforms. With natural language interaction, you can give a voice command, and your device will place the order and set delivery requirements for you. Through big data analysis, your device even knows your preferences and habits. Similarly, new devices can manage and control all household appliances to provide a com comfortable home environment with the right temperature, humidity, et cetera, et cetera, through the cloud intelligence that knows you well. The second scenario is at work. Your device can conduct immersive AR meetings for remote participants with a 360-degree camera and a microphone, as I just uh, uh, told BK that we would do. 
You can also take a detailed notes by voice dictation. You can rely on your device to locate market share data, retrieve all news related to a specific sub subject, and do much more. Third, the on-the-go scenario. In addition to smartphone and smartwatch, which is of broader needs, we will explore more specific purpose of the products like AR glasses and health, health monitors, etc., etc. We are turning this vision into reality step by step. Today, we will focus on the on-the-go scenario to launch two revolutionary products. Now, the first one. Nowadays, the only way to get an AR experience is with some pretty big, complicated devices. They provide an incredible, incredible experience, but they are not something to carry around with you on the go. Let's change that. Lenovo is creating a new kind of AR experience that is more portable, more practical, and will be even more popular. This is the Fab 2 Pro, a smart, a smart device, perfect for the on-the-go scenario. It's a Fab, but not just another Fab. It fully taps into the power of the cloud. It has an unprecedented level of positioning and presence data with more sensors and cameras than any other smartphone. It is a device that truly understands its surroundings and augments our reality. With this device, there is the potential for indoor navigation, a totally different gaming experience and working with uh, digital objects with, uh, uh, in a real world scenario, like putting a piece of furniture as a virtual object into your real living room to see how it fits. We have built this in close partnership with Google to put the power of Project Tango on, on our phone for the first time. So let's show you this product. Please welcome our product leader, Jeff Meredith. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, YY. I'm uh, Jeff Meredith, and I lead the Android and Chrome Computing BU uh, at Lenovo. I am extremely excited to be here today to announce the world's very first consumer product with Project Tango. Let me reinforce a point that YY made just moments ago. One of the most exciting parts about today's launch uh, for Lenovo has been our collaboration with Google's Tango team. So a quick shout out in the balcony, wherever you guys are, to the Lenovo and Google Tango teams. It's been a real uh, team effort all through the process. The combination of Lenovo's world-class hardware capabilities in conjunction with the industry-leading software capabilities of Google form the type of partnership that you need to really create new to the world innovation. This partnership has prompted us, in fact, to construct a group within Lenovo that's focused on building tablets and Chromebooks and AR and VR devices in collaboration with Google. Today marks the very first milestone in this relationship, and we certainly hope to see and expect to see many more. So with that, let's get down to business. On behalf of the Lenovo and Google Tango, teams, I'm very proud to announce the world's first Tango-enabled smartphone, the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. The Google and Lenovo teams have been working together since all the way back in January of 2015 
to integrate Project Tango technology into the Fab2 Pro. At CES, we announced that we were building the first device, and we announced our partnership. Just a few months later, in February, in Barcelona at MWC, we guided you through the National Art Museum of Catalonia and showcased indoor navigation capabilities as well as AR functionality. Well, today the teasing is completely over. We're going to, uh, and we're very pleased to unveil the Fab2 Pro product and showcase how its augmented reality features can enhance your everyday life. But before we go into details on the product, what I'd like to do is take a few minutes to explain why Project Tango and why we put it in a smartphone. We know that the market for AR and VR devices is set to explode, grow massively over the next five years. But we also know that in order for any technology to move towards broad-scale adoption, it must become relevant, meaningful in our everyday lives. We truly believe Tango can achieve this level of relevancy. When we joined hands with Google, our goal was to create a device with AR-enabling technology that could become so pervasive that you would take it for granted, that it would disappear into the background of your daily life. So many of you this morning woke up, you had breakfast, you stood in your hotel lobby, and you copied the address of this exact building, the Masonic, into your phone. Then you set off on foot, on your bike, maybe in your car, perhaps you hopped in an Uber like me. But what I guarantee that none of you thought about was, man, this GPS is awesome. You just know that when you want to get somewhere, you use it and it gets you there. It's disappeared. It's a tool that you use every day. So that gives you some context to understand our ambition for Tango technology and the devices that use Tango that we believe can be adopted in a similar fashion in the future to GPS. So this is one of the key reasons why we wanted to use it in a smartphone form factor. Your smartphone is constantly with you, it's familiar to you, and it's already fully integrated into your everyday life. So let me spend a few minutes talking about the Fab2 Pro and some of its core attributes as a smartphone. First off, we certainly believe the device is a flagship-worthy smartphone. It's enclosed in a beautiful metal unibody that comes in champagne gold and gunmetal gray combinations. It features an outstanding 6.4-inch IPS quad HD display that's great for video viewing. It has amazing cameras, four of them in fact. An 8-megapixel front camera, a 16-megapixel RGB camera on the rear, a depth camera, which has both an imager and an emitter, and the motion tracking camera, all in the rear of the device. This combination of cameras not only creates amazing photographs, but it is truly what enables the magic of Tango functionality. The device also features killer sound, Dolby Atmos sound output, as well as it's the very first device, smartphone device, to feature Dolby's 5.1 audio capture. This feature lets you in record incredibly true-to-life audio. It's really awesome. Make sure you take a few minutes at the conclusion of our show to check out the demo. And of course, the, the phone comes with an awesome battery. Over 4,000 milliamp battery gives you 15 hours of battery life. So you don't need to worry about your phone dying when you're enjoying all the great features that I've shared with you. From a software perspective, we've enhanced the user experience with easy fingerprint access as well as a one-hand usage mode. So as you can see, this is a great phone by itself. But through Project Tango, we can do so much more. So I'd like to bring out a special guest to help, you show, to help show some of the key features. But before I do that, let me give you the one last bit of information on Fab2 Pro. It will be globally available beginning in September, and it will be sold for $499 unlocked. Yeah. 
So the device will ship in August, be on shelves in September. Uh, in the U.S. here, it will be available at a key retailer, Best Buy. So let's dive a little bit deeper now into Project Tango um, and show you how amazing it truly is. So with that, I'd like to invite out on stage our key partner uh, and the engineering director at Google, my good friend, Mr. Johnny Lee. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. Um, it is a pretty incredible piece of technology for a really great price. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Every day, we make thousands of decisions, very small, subtle ones, just how we walk, how we move, even to adjust our, our, our hips so we don't hit the table. And even misjudging these, uh, our space, but even just a few inches can lead to a very, very painful error. Um, and we effortlessly navigate through our rooms and our offices. We know where our desk is. We know we adjust how we sit, depending on the furniture that's around us. We know how big our desk is. We know how big our monitors are. And if we wanted a different chair, we can imagine you know, what kinds of chairs we might like, you know, what kind of styles, how big they should be. Um, and if we navigate through our kitchen, we, without much thought, we can go between the counter and the sink and open the fridge. And we understand you know, how much space we need for the doors to not hit anything. And so we're constantly making these judgments about the space around us based on the position and size of objects. Now, our human perception of space and movement are highly tuned and highly evolved skills that we often take for granted. Um, it's so fundamental to the way we think about things, we actually don't stop and say, wow, this is actually really amazing. Yet our tools um, have, while our tools have gotten incredibly powerful, they, they still don't have this capability. Now, our phones now you know, are incredible, right? They have amazing cameras that help us capture memories or sh visually communicate with our friends. They have sensors that can help us track the health and track our activity uh, just by putting them in our pocket or wearing them on our shoulders. We can unlock our phones with this simple touch, and this is the beginning of being able to make payments with our phones. Yet, while it does have GPS, as Jeff said, and it knows roughly where I am in the world, it actually doesn't really understand where we are in this room, and it's lost. So Project Tango is a focused effort to sense space and movement. Uh, it has three core technologies inside of it. Uh, there's motion tracking, which is the ability to respond to subtle movements, like moving forward, moving backwards, moving left and right. Uh, it has a depth sensor that allows us to see the floors, the furniture, and the walls. Uh, and lastly, we have a software stack that allows it to learn areas, so we can recognize places that it's been before. So these functions, when you combine them together, allow you to help you make decisions. Uh, you can say, ask, well, how tall are my windows? So if I'm trying to buy new curtains, or what are the options for full-size beds in my son's living room, because we know a queen-size bed is, is too big. Um, maybe a futon would actually be better, and you can check to see if that works. You can keep an entire toy box in your pocket or a virtual pet shop wherever you go. Um, and you can defend yourselves about, uh, against invading aliens that some of you will be able to try out in the demo floor later today. And the really cool thing is that afterwards you don't have to clean any of it up. So you can also get up close and learn about life-size dinosaurs right in the comfort of your own living room or explore a scale model of the solar system. So these are just a couple of examples that we'll show you demos of very shortly. Now, Project Tango began about three years ago as a really small R&D effort, and there were a tremendous number of technical challenges and uncertainties that faced us. And so we chose Project Tango to represent the highly experimental nature of the work. Uh, and it was an appropriate name as we iterated on the software and iterated on the hardware. However, with the work we are doing with Lenovo, um, uh, we're shipping to consumers later this year. And our team has gotten much larger, and this continues to be a large investment for Google. And so we felt that project was no longer an appropriate name for our team anymore. And so today, we're calling ourselves just Tango. That's right. So with our new name, we've also created a cleaner logo, as you can see. Um, uh, and we'd also uh, put a video together uh, to help introduce it for you. Play the video.
So what I have here is one of our Fab2 Pros. Um, I have this contraption so that you can actually see a camera feed of the screen. Uh, and so that's why I'm tethered. Um, so we switch that over. Yeah, there we go. So I want to just quick, quickly walk you through a couple of demos um, running live on stage. So the first experience is uh, an out-of-the-box app to help introduce people to the new functionality of their new phone. And so as you can see here, what it's doing is that it's building a point cloud of the stage in front of us. And as I walk around, you can see it recognizes the 3D shapes around it. It's mostly a flat stage, so there's a flat floor here. And we're visited by some friends. And it transforms the world into a fully virtual space and begins to grow the life around it. And if I want to, I can get up and close. Look at all the detail of the flowers and rocks. So that's just a very simple experience, but you can see when you combine all the elements together, when you combine motion tracking with depth sensing and the AR pass-through capabilities, you can actually craft really rich and interesting experiences uh, for people. Now, of course there's things like games, but uh, let me show you something that uh, uh, we believe is actually very useful to simply extend the capabilities of your camera. So as we talked about being able to measure the space of your environment, to be able to know how big a bed will fit or a bedroom will fit, wouldn't it be great if the camera that you already have in your pocket was able to not only take pictures, but could actually measure the distance to things? And so if I wanted to, uh, say, measure the width of this cabinet here, you can see that there's this green reticle on the screen. And what it does is basically it's searching for surfaces. Uh, and so if I actually get close to this, the edge of this cabinet, it'll snap. You see the green line comes up. If I get to this side, it'll snap as well. So if I just want to measure, I'll put a marker there and marker there. Oh. Oh. Ah, sorry, let me do it again. Okay, there we go. So about one foot five inches. If I wanted to switch to metric units, I just click that. And it's about 43 centimeters. So this is a really simple tool. Um, if we wanted to uh, measure the heights of a, from the floor to the ceiling, uh, we don't have to go searching for measuring tape or uh, digging for a ladder and potentially putting ourselves in danger. Uh, we can actually just point at the ceiling and point at the floor and simply go to quick height check on our house. Now the other cool thing about this is that it's not just a, uh, since we're a full 3D device doing 3D tracking, you're not limited to just uh, one dimensional measurements. But we can say, well, let's see if we can fit in a bigger table here. And let's make it a little bit bigger, like this. And I come around, it'll close off the area. But because it's 3D, if I want to see how big of a table will actually fit here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ah, OK. So you can actually see it's a full 3D volume. Um, and so I can simply take a picture of this, like this, as well as generate blueprints. And if I go to our measurements gallery, we can see it stores it to our gallery, and you can take this to the, the, the bookshelf store or to IKEA or the container store to see if it will work. Uh, there you go. 
I want to show you another app, which is a, a dinosaur app from the Natural Museum of Natural History, American Museum of Natural History. So they have an exhibit which allows you to explore the history of dinosaurs and see the evolution of them uh, that the modern day bird is actually a, a descendant of the dinosaurs. So what we have here is a, a collection of dinosaurs that we can visualize. And the fun thing is that we can actually place them here on the stage. We have a velociraptor there. If I want to see uh, compared to one of the other dinosaurs, I place him there. And we can see the different animals there on stage with us. And you can see the different sizes uh, and learn a little bit about each one. So if I tap on this plus icon, it will pause the dinosaur and I'll get these info card plus boxes. And when I plus on, pu press on them, I get a little bit of information so I can learn about these in physical, true physical size and get up close to each of the different components. So let me try one more thing which is sort of fun, is that we can put big dinosaurs down too. There you go. So that's a Tyrannosaurus rex, but you can see in the upper right, uh, it says he's a 20% size. So the stage is pretty big, so we can actually try to get him full size here, like this. Hey, guy. You can take a look at his teeth and respond. There you go. <laughs> so this is just another example of you know, taking the same technology but using it for an educational purpose. And so you can bring home the museum experience to your home, and of course you can also take pictures of yourself uh, with a dinosaur as well. Another demo I want to show you is uh, a, part, a, a project that we've been working on with Shell Games called Dominoes. And one of the things about dominoes is the fact that it's actually quite difficult to set up a large set of dominoes, and there's a pretty big cleanup process afterwards. So what's going on here is that what we can do is that we have a large selection of colored dominoes, but we also have a toy box of different items here. So what it uses is it uses the depth sensor, and if I want to create a set of dominoes, all I have to do is click and drag, like this. Hit start, and we have a nice little domino set. But this isn't quite enough, so let's do a little bit more. Put down a little airplane, there we go. Put down a little bit more dominoes. I really like this one. And we'll set up some party, party dominoes afterwards. Whoops. Let's take a look at this. It does it. I know it does it. Um, let's try to reset that one. Come on. It was doing it earlier. Uh, okay. Let's um, let's uh, let's try to erase this one. It's worth it. Let's try. Let's try to the. Let's just do the very small one here. Demo effect, as we all know. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right.
So while it didn't work right, right in the demo, it does actually detect the distance of the surface and we'll drop a little domino and continue on. Um, for the last one, uh, we're going to do uh, a, a partner on stage um, uh, to make the last demo. Uh, Jeff. Yeah, so thank you very much, Johnny. I think the demos are always a lot of fun. And if you want to see the fall off the stage demo, John, Johnny's a perfectionist, so you, you, know, you can come up after the show and see that one for sure. So next we'd like to keep going and show you a little bit more about everyday use cases for Tango and the Fab2 Pro. And with that, I'd like to bring on stage uh, two special guests, uh, Richard uh, Malzberger from Lowe's, as well as uh, Nicole Curtis from HD, HDTV's Rehab Attic. Have you ever dreamed of a new kitchen, a new bathroom, a living room, but always had just a little bit of fear about actually getting started with the project? Or how about you, Nicole? Have you ever had a client that just couldn't quite see your vision for their room? Oh, never. It's so never? easy. <laughs> no, that's one of the biggest challenges we have in design is that not everyone can look at a space and figure out what materials they need, what's going to look great. And the other challenge is getting those design samples to the actual site. You know, as a, as a mom and a businesswoman, I need every second of the day. And with this revolutionary app, we can save all that time. And I'm not taking bulky samples to and from the site. You know, because Nicole, we totally agree. We know over years of experience that being able to visualize a space is oftentimes the biggest barrier to starting a home improvement project. We've been experimenting for the last few years with multiple augmented and virtual reality technologies and experiences. And now with Project Tango and the Fab2 Pro, our dreams are becoming reality. With this intuitive tool in the palm of your hand, we'll actually change the way in which people live in their homes and imp improve their homes forevermore. We are excited to announce that not only will Lowe's have a Tango-enabled app in the Play Store, but we will be carrying the Fab2 Pro nationwide in Lowe's stores this holiday season. So Nicole, let's, let's take a look at that app. What could you do with this space? Well, there's a lot, first of all. Let's get <laughs> royal blue carpeting, right? And everyone always wants the aesthetic of what I do, which is really cool old houses. So something as simple as adding some hardwood floor to this space, most of the time people have to track down a tape measure. They don't know how to measure all of the space. So now with this, they can simply scan the area and put the product right in place to see how it'll look in their home. Hey, Johnny, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could put down some hardwood floor and see what, see what would happen. Sure, so I'll push this plus button and we have uh, a menu on the side, so I'll click on flooring. So what kind of flooring did you want? Let's go with the dark cherry. Okay, all right. So I'll put down the dark cherry and it lays down kind of a swatch. But the neat thing about it is I can uh, drag my finger and actually extend the size of the swatch to cover more of the floor. Doesn't that look better already? Right. Yes. No more blue carpeting. Yeah. Exactly. So, 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 Nicole, what happens after the flooring? What do you usually go with next? You know, and the, the next thing people want to know is, what can I fit in this space? Okay. Because it's, it's not as easy to go to a store, pick up pieces of furniture or anything else, bring it home, and then what do we all usually figure out? It doesn't fit. Even when you do the best of measuring, you know, there's an old saying, measure twice, cut once, but when you're loading things back and forth and returns, with this, we can also add furniture accessories, measure the space out so we know exactly what'll fit, so there saves so much time right there. Awesome, I tell you what, let, let's try a little bit of that, Johnny. How about a chair first? Maybe okay. we could put a, little, a new chair in this space. How about that Franklin Brown tufted club chair there? Sure, we'll put it over here. It looks like it might go a little bit better if we move it over this way. Yeah, let's way. move that a little further back. There we go. See, and that's a lot easier than me asking someone to move a piece of furniture. Oh, yes. This way, that way. A lot way. lighter to hold the every, Fab 2 Pro than we can the go, right? Yes. <laughs> and you can also add accessories, like we can add the Ashley chair side end table, put it right there. Not in the fireplace, though. That would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> can move it over this way. Rotate it. Rotate that around, there you go. Very nice. And where typically we'd have to have certain software and sit yes. down and do all this planning to do something, this is so quick and easy. 
which makes it so that design is fun. Yes. Because that's one of the challenges is that measuring we, is not something everyone loves to do. And we know actually that one of the most enjoyable parts is actually dreaming up the room. And this gives you the opportunity to dream it up in real time. Exactly. And you can change out the flooring and everything without, again, usually I have to go pick up the samples, bring them in, lay them down, and you can only see it in one or two little spots. And then you stand back and you can't decide if you love it or hate it until it's actually installed. And then I usually decide I don't like it and then I want to rip it out. So this is great because they can actually zoom in right on the product yep. and see it up close. I tell you what, Johnny, since we're going to be launching this in Lowe's stores during a holiday period, why don't we give this room a little bit of holiday cheer? Maybe a stocking or two. Conveniently, we have stockings in the furniture oh, shop. Well, there Look you at that. go. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Welcome to the future of home design. Thanks to Tango and the Fab 2 Pro. Nicole, thank you so much for the thank time. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this experience yeah. with us. <laughs> a little, little overboard on the holiday cheer there, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny likes trees. See, oh, oh, thank stockings you. make everything better. <laughs> that's, that's thank right. you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank, thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. So, Johnny, we're about to close out our section. Yes. You have to put, put down our demo kit. Um, you know, at Lenovo, we're really thrilled to be on the journey uh, in tandem with Google. And creating this product, as I said at the outset, has been a true team effort. I think, you know, this is one of the most enjoyable teaming experiences that uh, I've had and I know that my team's had in, in tandem with you guys mm -hmm. uh, since the beginning of 2015. But it's not just Google and Lenovo by any means. We have a lot of other partners that have worked with us. And, and so I want to thank some of those. First off, Qualcomm. Uh, many thanks to Qualcomm. Yeah. Uh, our Snapdragon processor that powers the Fab2 uh, Fab Pro um, is core and key to the success of this product and the performance levels that we're able to achieve. Next, I'd also like to give a big thanks to Infineon and the PMD teams who helped build out the time of flight uh, or the depth sensing uh, camera and have worked hand in hand with us all along. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. Th these hardware components are critical to the functionality of the phone, and we certainly can't make these work without their help. And so uh, we're very grateful to them. Uh, we'd, of course, like to also thank our software developers who've been uh, on us on our hardware journey, and we're able to get the ports moving, uh, get the app applications running on the Fab2 Pro uh, with a pretty short amount of time. Uh, so uh, they've uh, journeyed with us and um, uh, created a lot of great user experiences. And of course, we'd like to thank Lenovo. Uh, the amount of hardware work and the ability to get this phone at the price point that it is is no small feat. And so we're tremendously grateful to them, and we're excited to bring Tango to the hands of consumers. Yeah, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Well, uh, we'll close out just to say thank you to you all for being here today. It's been our pleasure. Make sure that you take time at the end of the show uh, to walk to this side to my right and spend time with the demos. The teams have worked very hard to make sure that you get to have a full hands-on experience with the Fab2 Pro and Tango. So make sure you take advantage of that. Thank you to all. Enjoy the rest of the show. Why, Thanks. why? Back to you. Thank you, everyone. So do you like uh, Fab2 Pro? You want to see more? More to come. But uh, before that, uh, we will have a boring session uh, talking about uh, infrastructure. Uh, the more devices like the new Fab2 Pro, uh, or big new shoes, <clears throat> we will sell. 
the more demand for reliable, flexible infrastructure there will be. So this is a business opportunity and an innovation focus for both Lenovo and our business partners. Within our data center business, we think that uh, hyper-converged infrastructure is one of the exciting new areas for innovation. It's a core building block to the software defined data center of the future. The same way some smartphones brought uh, separate functions like uh, cameras, music players, and the phones together, hyper-converged ar architecture will break down silos enable faster deployment, easier scalability, and a lower operating expense. So <clears throat> it's pretty exciting as well, right? So next, let's uh, dig into the next generation of inf infrastructure technology, specifically hyper-converged infrastructure and the software-defined data center. Jerry Smith, president of our data center group, please. Thanks, Wai. And you're right, data is everywhere. It's exploding. There's more than ever before. This is a huge opportunity for Lenovo and, to be honest, the marketplace. Data centers must evolve in response to what are connected world and big data. They must be open, flexible, but they've got to be fast and responsive also. Lenovo is driving a, a ton of its own innovation. We're also combining our innovation with our partners and leading technology companies around the world and here in the Valley. This is how we create the, what we call new IT, or the next generation IT. Not the old stuff from down the road, the real true new IT. This is how we're going to connect the world with public clouds, private clouds, and hybrid clouds. Lenovo is also a st strong provider in many parts of the world to the public cloud or the hyperscale market. We also provide high performance computing to the traditional infrastructure for private clouds on premise. And we're also partnering with you know, leading partners like Nutanix to create hyperscale solutions for, that are scalable and they can go both le leverage both public and private clouds. But one of the things we've done in the last six quarters is partnerships. It's critical we bring these capabilities together as there's a massive inflection point going on in the marketplace right now in new generation IT. We're laser focused on finding the best partners and working with them to bring the best innovation to market. When I had the opportunity to speak today, I really thought about who should I bring on stage with me today to really talk about the infrastructure future. And I'm very pleased to welcome one of the Silicon Valley icons, the founder of Juniper and the CTO, Pradeep Sindhu. Hey, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning. So we're backstage, you know, talking to BK. He gave us a, a, a piece of data that said one terabyte a minute in storage with his, some of his technologies coming out with. So a lot of people are saying, you know, the cloud's built out. With 5G, all these capabilities, Tango, give us your thoughts on, this is a massive inflection point in the industry. You're a perfect guy to talk about it. I'd be very happy to do it. Well, thanks for inviting me here. You know, with the Fab2 Pro, what we saw this morning was a stunning example of how people are going to, it's a glimpse into the future of how people are going to engage with computers. Um, they'll engage with computers in a very natural way. The flip side of that is going to be computers engaging with the physical world. That's yet to come. But there's infrastructure that actually enables this behind the scenes. And so what is that infrastructure? There are some very, very big things happening. And this is really the basis of the partnership between Lenovo and Juniper. And what's happening in infrastructure is that computing, storage, and networking are going to come together in absolutely unique and novel ways to provide advances that are going to be stunning. There's no other word for it. Over the next decade, you will see stunning advan advances. And how do I know this? You know, there's four trends that are completely visible today. First is that we live in a hyper-connected world. Why I mentioned that in his speech? Um, everything is connected to everything else with a latency of less than 100 milliseconds around the world. Second one is that you know, we're beginning to see the early signs of uh, tailing off of Moore's law. 
So individual devices aren't going to get much faster. So what that means is we're going to have swarms of devices connected together by a network. This means that the network becomes more and more important. Well, the third one is we're in a race to the cloud. Uh, you mentioned cloud as being phenomenally important. I think that in this coming era, uh, you will have data centers of all sizes, small, medium, large, enormous ones with computing that is connected together with the network and storage. A question on that. A lot of people believe that there's three or four big public cloud players, and that's it. From a Lenovo perspective, we actually think there's going to be a variety of forms of the cloud. Absolutely believe that some of the big players are going to be there. But we also think geographically, yeah. as well as those be on-prem clouds, there'll be the large clouds, there'll be privacy. What are some of your thoughts of that, this, that I'll say, massive disruption? This is exactly the case. When, when you look at the latency that human beings expect, uh, you know, we need latencies on the order of three milliseconds. You cannot deliver latencies of three milliseconds if you're putting a data center 500 miles away. OK, data centers, you're going to have small ones, you're going to have medium ones, you'll have super large ones. And there'll be probably more than three guys providing super large data centers. But all of these uh, data centers, small, medium, large, will be interconnected with a phenomenally capable network. And storage is going to be put in the massively uh, scalable data centers, but it'll, keep, it'll be cached closer to where people use it. So let's ask a question to the crowd. What, one of the biggest frustrations I know, at least at my home, is the ever-spinning waiting for the website to respond, Wait, correct? I mean, that's, and I think that's where what Pradeep's talking about. This is what we need to solve as an industry and a company, exactly. where you get real-time, instant on capabilities. The single biggest frustration that people have, including myself, with computers is that they are too slow for human beings, not the other way around. We cannot wait. So there is a lot of things for Lenovo and Juniper to do because we're completely complementary. Uh, Lenovo has strengths in storage and computing. Juniper has strengths in security and networking. And you know, literally, we're going we're gonna to go do phenomenal things uh, hand in glove. What's that fourth point? You, you talked about the first three points, but... Well, the fourth point is the point about security. Um, as the world becomes more and more connected, uh, you know, there are bad actors out there, and they're going after uh, the information, uh, where, uh, the valuable information. And valuable information is all kept in servers. And so we've got to protect the infrastructure, and we've got to protect the information that rides on top of the infrastructure. So security is the fourth big trend. Uh, and you know, um, we, we do live today in an insecure world, and so we have to address that. And it's a race between, it's an arms race between the bad guys and the good guys. Thank you. And so what we're going to do together, Juniper and Lenovo, is we're really going to race to the cloud together. We're going to ensure we provide that leading technology. We're going to make sure that we, we solve that problem and have that, you know, that latency problem that's the frustration. And, and again, as Tango and that technology explodes, you know, the, the strain on the existing cloud is, is going to be tremendous. Yes. There, just from a, a market opportunity perspective, a financial opportunity, it's tremendous. And I think addressing the security issues as well, but very excited to have you here today. I know with what you do at Juniper as well as Pradeep has investments in a number of other companies in the Valley as well to help address these issues. And we look forward to partnering with you and, and solving the problems for the customers and, and the infrastructure industry. And we will amaze together. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Appreciate it, Pradeep. Thanks, Wala. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Pradeep and uh, Jerry. So we have talked uh, through all our three uh, pillars, device, device plus cloud, and the infrastructure. But I have, I have one more thing to show you. Probably that's the most important product we are launching today. So it's an even better showcase of our device plus cloud. Right now, there are 200 manufacturers around the world building smartphones that look the same, feel the same, and work the same. We don't think that's good enough anymore. And the consumers have waited for something truly innovative or revolutionary for a long time. Lenovo, 
does not want you to wait any longer. We are rethinking, rethinking smartphones completely differently. A smartphone today is powerful enough, so people try to load all kinds of apps to their phones to the extent of overburdening, overburdening your phones. Is there a way to make the phone handle more applications and connect with more services without, without compromising user experience or the performance of your phones? This is exactly what our final launch today is trying to address. A product of stylish design, full functionality, and the leading technology of a traditional smartphone. But that's not all. It's a hub. It connects with other devices to get more functionality. It connects with cool accessories even more. Through these devices, this hub connects with various cloud services and cloud applications. We want to make every, every personal object in, in our life, not just mobile, but integrated, intelligent, and also connected to the cloud. This is definitely a game-changing product. We call it a snap phone, or mo shouji in Chinese. As As you know, Moto had lots of classic innovations that defined the phone industry. Now, this is the next. These are our new Moto smartphone. Moto D and the Moto D Force. At 5.2 millimeters and with a beautiful metal design, Moto D is the world's senior premier smartphone. And with the Moto D Force, give it a, a round of uh, applause. And with the Moto D Force, we have added our amazing shuttle shield technology. We guarantee the display will not crack or shuttle. So these are certainly among the most powerful flagship smartphones. But actually, the phone is not only the phone is only is, is only half of the story. There are 16 magic, 16 magic dots here. Let me show you how these dots change the way you think about uh, using smartphone. Thank you, Ashton. Yeah. Now, your phone is not just your phone. Your phone can transform into whatever you want it to be or need it to be in a snap, like magic. 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 Right? <laughs> right. Probably Ashton is a better product manager, so he can introduce more about the, this smartphone. Absolutely. This phone can transform itself. It could be an outdoor theater. It could be a portable stereo. It could be a battery powerhouse. The choice is yours. And it all happens simply in a snap. See, those connections are where all the magic happens. When YY says that this changes the industry, he's spot on. You know, it's easy to get caught up in incremental advancements, but this is an actual full-blown game changer. After evaluating hundreds of typical smartphones, prototypes, 
we realized that we're limited by the hardware that's inside the phones. So to solve this problem, a small team set out to redesign the entire smartphone platform from the ground up, using the same approach that they had taken when inventing the mobile phone and iconic products like StarTac and the Razor. To make the new platform work, we needed to find a way to make the smartphone thinner and lighter without compromising performance. And we also knew that to enable the powerful experience, we would need to leverage the power of the Android platform and ensure flawless software integration. The end result, Moto Mods. They work into Snap every time. Without turning your phone on and off or removing the battery, without looking like an aftermarket afterthought. There are no trade-offs in design. It brings real, meaningful experiences to consumers and delivers on what, what people want today. So I would like to tell you more about the Moto Z and the Moto Mods, but instead, let's bring out Cien Xiao to tell you more. Get it. Thanks, Ashton, YY. Let's go ahead and dive right into these products. First, let's look at the smartphones themselves. Moto Z and Moto Z Force. Like YY said, Moto Z is a sleek metal design. It's both stunning and durable, and yes, it is the world's thinnest premium smartphone. Moto Z is a performance powerhouse. It has a brilliant display, an ultra-powerful processor, and more than a day of battery life, all in an amazingly thin design. It also features our most advanced camera ever. Optical image stabilization and laser focus captures moments with crystal clear detail in low light, bright light, or anything in between. Moto Z Force has all the great things Moto Z has, but ups the game with our shatter shield technology, even longer battery life, and our fastest turbo power charging yet. It gets up to 15 hours of usage with just a 15 minute charge. That means you can charge the high capacity 3,500 milliamp hour battery to 50% in less than 20 minutes. That's really, really fast charging. And of course, you can build your own on Motomaker from different color combinations. But that's just the beginning. We are taking personalization to a whole new level. Motomods instantly transform your smartphone into an entirely new device. Take a look. It's technology no other phone has. Motor mods are easy to swap because they snap together magnetically onto your phone seamlessly, becoming one with it. This is the projector. You don't have to turn your phone off or pull the battery out. How much sense does that make? Let's take a look at the first motor mods we're announcing today. We've created them to solve real pain points smartphone users have and create completely new experiences. With the Moto InstaShare projector, you can transform your smartphone into a 70-inch big screen in a snap. Yes. No more huddling around a small screen or passing your phone around to share photos. The InstaShare projector fits right in your pocket so you can easily share at the spur of the moment, including from cloud services like Google Photos. 
project that new Netflix or Amazon episode everyone's talking about, or that YouTube video that just went viral, onto almost any wall or even the ceiling. Just snap on the motor mod, and whatever you are watching gets the big screen treatment. It also includes a built-in battery for up to an hour of projection time before using your phone's battery. Check it out. With Motomods, you can get high-quality JBL audio from your smartphone, perfect for the park, the beach, the backyard, and everywhere in between. Snap on the JBL sound boost, pump up the volume, and get the party started. Whatever your favorite music streaming service is, like Spotify or Google Play Music, it blasts whatever you were listening to instantly. You know what? I think I'm going to stop reading this prompter and go off script a little bit, because I actually want to show this to you. The best way to see all the software and hardware engineering that went into this is to show it. So uh, can we get a microphone out here so the folks in the back can hear? Oh, thank you. I don't know if you can hear this, but. So that is the JBL Sound Boost. You'll get powerful stereo sound and 10 hours of playtime without using your phone's battery. The built-in kickstand also gives you a truly immersive audio-visual experience, and it even works as a speakerphone, so your hands-free calls come in loud and clear no matter where you are. Take a listen. How many of you gone out and run low on battery? You forget to charge the night before, <laughs> or were super busy during the day. It's happened to all of us. I bet it's happening to some of you right now. Am I right? With the power pack, you can instantly add up to 22 hours of battery life without adding bulk to your pocket. It snaps onto your phone so you can recharge in the run. Forget about fumbling with batteries or searching for wall outlets. The sleek design lets you continue using your phone as you normally would. It's also available with a wireless charging option, so you can enjoy the freedom and convenience of cutting the cord. We've partnered with Incipio to make the off-grid power pack. And the power pack comes in premium design ed editions from Kate Spade, New York, such as this one, and Tumi, so you can recharge and look great while doing it. As you know, we've always been very focused on style. We were the first to get consumers to design their own phones on Motomaker. With style shells, you can transform your phone to fit your style. You can swap them whenever you like. Style shells are streamlined, designed for comfort, and won't add bulk to your phone. Choose from premium materials like real wood and leather, or pick out a patterned fabric. Motomods are designed for change. The possibilities with Motomods are infinite. 
We're working with partners on new mods as we speak, like a partnership with Mofi that expands your choices of power and protection. And we're also taking the smartphone and camera experience to a whole new level. More to come on that. We're so excited to have shared these products with you today. We're also very committed to them. Moto mods developed today are designed to work with future generation Moto Z phones. So, and I know you're all waiting for this part. When can you get one? Yes. Moto Z will be available in the US starting this summer through our exclusive launch partner, Verizon, as Moto Z Droid and Moto Z Force Droid. Moto Z will also be available unlocked this fall. Globally, Moto Z will be available starting in September. Moto Mods announced today will be available at the same time. Today's announcements are only the beginning. I'll ask our friend Ashton to share the details of our Moto Mods developer program. Great job, man. This is pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, I've been talking to Motorola about the possibilities of Moto Mods for a while now. And I realized that one of the best things about Moto Mods is that the options are truly infinite. Moto Mods are a technology uniquely suited to an era of customization and co-creation and sharing. And today, we're launching the Moto Mods Developer Program, which provides a new platform for innovation in the mobile space. The mobile phone opened up an ecosystem for software developers with apps, and we would like to open up an ecosystem for hardware developers, which will then open another ecosystem for software developers. So you can't stuff all of the custom sensors into a stock phone because everyone doesn't need all of those sensors. And so you end up escalating a price point and creating a phone that's bloated with sensors that people don't use. But when you modulate them, you could do anything. You can make your phone capable of anything. And today, we're gonna invite you to do that with us. We're gonna open up the architecture and access the right resources. We're giving everyone, from small developers to established enterprises, an unprecedented opportunity to help us build a complete ecosystem that maximizes innovation and redefines the future of mobility. The possibilities are endless. Take a look at some of the concepts from Moto Labs. pretty cool stuff. These are some of our concepts, but what we really want to see is some of yours. You know, the great thing is that Mo Moto is providing the resources that you need to bring your idea to life, to create completely new user experiences. The Moto Mods Development Kit, or our MDK, includes reference and component designs, software, and documentation. It's the same set of tools that our internal Moto engineering team uses. Plus, there's a simple certification process 
You can pre-register today at developer.motorola.com and get notified when the MDK is available to order later this summer. And if you need a little help getting started, no worries, because we got you covered there too. Right, YY? Yes, definitely. Thank you, Ashton. So I think uh, you did a pretty good job of getting people excited uh, about becoming a MOTS developer. Thanks. But actually, I think I can help uh, a little bit more. Like Ashton said, motor mods are not just a single set of the product. In the future, when a mod is snapped on, it could trigger a cloud service. This opens huge opportunities for hardware makers and for cloud service companies. Imagine a mod that can measure your blood sugar and blood uh, pressure, connect to the cloud service, send this information to your doctor, and alert alert you uh, if a certain change needs your attention. Or imagine a home assistant mod. You can tell it to play music, search for information, and serve as an e-commerce platform. It won't, it won't echo anyone. It's original. It's your signature. So today, I'm announcing a word to individuals or companies that create the best mod prototypes. How about a total price of one million U.S. dollars? Seems fair. This is not just for hardware designers. This is, all, this is about creating a powerful, unique, cloud-connected experience. Truly, in a cloud-connected world, the sky is the limit. The winners will be chosen personally by me and a couple of our top executives. And I would like to ask Ashton to have a vote on our selection panel, too. So, Ashton, are you in? I'd be honored. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Fantastic. So, it's a deal. <laughs> so, we will inspire a wave of innovation that will help us bring the vision of Mouse and, and of Lenovo to life. New products like uh, this, like this uh, are bringing Lenovo into a new era. And we need to tell the world about it. So I will ask our CMO, David Roman, to share how we are going to turn today's big launches into real big winners in the marketplace. David, please. So as you saw this morning at Lenovo, we have many products that are truly, truly different. And they're not just different for the sake of being a little bit different. They're different for the sake of being better. And relevant differentiation is at the heart of all of our best products. In fact, it's at the heart of Lenovo. It's at the heart of how we, we run our brand. And you'll see this passion for differentiation reflected in everything we do, from the, the, the product films, from the different things that we have. 
And what I'd like to show you next is, is a short video that we, we had a little bit of fun. We looked at how traditional movie genres could be a little bit different if everybody had moto mods. Everybody likes cat videos. So we're also different for the sake of being better in how we choose the marketing partners that we work with. And when we wanted to create a truly fashion forward version of the new Moto Mods products, we decided to work directly with a celebrated fashion designer, Vivian Tan. So Vivian brings a truly different East meets West perspective to fashion and to design in general. And East meets West is an idea that is core to who we are at Lenovo. She's also a role model for uh, millions of young people who aspire to make it in the fashion world. And she's not just producing a cool design for the Moto Z. Your Vivian is creating a whole Vivian Tam signature experience um, around the Moto Z, and she'll be, I believe you'll be rolling that out in your runway collection at Fashion Week in New York in September. Yes, uh, right. yeah. Thank you, David, yeah. I'm so happy to be here. It's really, really great, you know, to be here, and um, much of my audience love technology as much as they love fashion. When they carry their phones to go out, they want something that's fashion and individualities, you know. They love the styles, you know, yes. <laughs> Moto Mods has a great, you know, style, and I just saw it, you know, and I touch it and feel it. It's so innovative, you know. I'm, I'm so happy to be part of it, you know, David. Thank you. Yeah. And you know, also, you know, the Moto Mods has a great platform to create such a really amazing experience, you know. And we have a great concept, David. You know, that we combine you know, East and the West, fashion and technology together, integrating into my next fashion show. I'm so excited. It's going to be an amazing experience. I hope you all can come to experience it. Please do come. You know, this is going to be in the September in New York City. And um, welcome to New York. <laughs> so that's our next date, September yes. 12th in New York City. Uh, yes. Yeah. It was going to be a real experience. Yeah. Thank you. Double happiness. Thank you, thank you, Vivian. Yeah. Right. And, uh, uh, so, why, why, what do you think? <laughs> so, uh, why, why? It's so great to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you look amazing. You know. Yeah. Maybe you can put you on the next show. <laughs> so, I think uh, I will leave that for your beautiful models. Oh, you're beautiful. But uh, our phone will definitely look uh, even better uh, once you get uh, your hands on it. The phone is beautiful and very innovative. I can't wait, you know, to really make it happen to have everybody to experience that experience. Thank you, Vivian and David. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. 
So, my friends, today has been about our vision for the future. A smart, connected uh, world uh, where companies like Lenovo will drive innovation in devices, in cloud, uh, in cloud connectivity, and in infrastructure. And with our focus on these areas today, we are able to launch two new mobile devices, Fab2 Pro and the Moto Mars. That will help create a new era for the smartphone and for Lenovo. For me, today has also been about getting together with friends, fans, and partners here in Silicon Valley, my home away from home. I want to ask my guests to come onto the stage to join me one more time, please. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, DK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So actually, before we go, I have one more surprise to share with all of our fans here on the lower level. Did you like the product that we announced today? Yeah. Would you like to be one of the first people in the world to own one? Great. So I want to give each of our fans here on the lower level a chance to choose our Fab2 Pro or our Model Mass as a gift from Lenovo for your support today. What do you think of our about? I believe we have already given you a lot to write about, think about, and share. And I look forward to sharing the rest of our day with you as you see the demos, test the products, and get a look at the new Lenovo. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you again. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. continues with me over in the fun innovation area. We're going to take you through some of the most amazing products that are coming out in the next year and beyond. So stay with us. We'll be back in 60 seconds.